welcome to the Wheel of Pro. <laughs> We've never done this before, but welcome to a very special uh, Prog Report Wheel of Prog episode. Everybody, we have a, a big group here, eight of us. If you follow the podcast, Hello. you've watched these uh, episodes, you've seen these guys at some point. Uh, and we'll go around introducing everybody in a minute. I think I know at least three of you. Uh, <laughs> but we are here in uh, Nashville, or just outside Nashville, Tennessee, uh, here for Morse Fest 23, a whole weekend of Neil Morris, who's one of our favorite singers and uh, performers, somebody you guys know well. And we thought that we would use this time to do uh, one of these episodes while we're all here in person. We've never had a chance to do this. This is really cool. Uh, thanks to Kyle Fagala for bringing all this equipment and all helping right. us set this up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so Thank you, um, what we're going to do with this uh, episode is we're going to combine all the studio albums for Neil Morse and Mike Portnoy. Uh, there are 20. We did not include any covers albums or anything like that. But it's all the albums from the uh, Neil Morse solo albums, the prog stuff, uh, at MB, uh, Transatlantic, and Flying Colors. So it's it's really it's hard. And something has to be in D tier, and that's that's going to be the, the hard challenge part. of this. Yeah. A couple of us have not done a Wheel of Prog episode before. And they uh, attempted to do it on their own before they did this. And when I told them that they had a limit of four per row, they were like, that's impossible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the challenge. We've mm -hmm. divided the eight of us into four teams of two. Uh, basically, it's going to be myself and Victor here, the Floridians, as we're going to call ourselves. Yes. We have Dan and Nick. The A.K.A. The, the foreigners. The, these fools. Come on, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> so, so childish, man. Um, <laughs> Christian and John, who is, are the uh, audio, audio, video, audio, audio, audio video The AV team over yeah. here. Right. And of course, we have the Kyles. The Kyles. Uh, yeah. Kyle and Kyle. Hello, Earth. Yes, half yeah. of Echoverse. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. true. Yeah. You know. The other two Kyles could make yes. it. Yes, and we'll, we'll be doing the Wheel of Prog on Echoverse in yes. uh, 2045. <laughs> <laughs> the the handsome two over here. Correct. Yeah. Uh, this one's going to go off the rails pretty quickly, I'm sure. Um, we all have these incredible new mugs that yeah. our friend John Fiala, yes. uh, the mug crafter made from Morse Fest 23. We're all cheers. drinking our cheers. beverage of choice. Yeah. Master ceramist. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are in uh, one of the hotel rooms here. So This is a suite in White House. <laughs> <laughs> so go figure. And you know it's a suite because of the artwork. What better place? This is an original <laughs> piece. Right, Minus. Yes. yes. Well, and listen, we got we got to give a shout out to Jeff because he's here in town, but he couldn't join us. Yes, of course. So Jeff Bailey, the ultimate Neil Morse aficionado and super fan, yep. and, and your and, favorite uh, member of the Prog Report, probably. And uh, he's actually involved in helping put together Morse Fest. We should give him a shout out yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, he is not here to help us do this, but we're going to make sure that we put all his favorite albums in D. <laughs> <laughs> this is for, for you, Jeff. Jeff. Love you, Jeff. Yep. And, uh, okay, so listen, before we get started, I just really, I'm excited mm -hmm. to be doing this with you guys here in person. Thank you for all being here. This is really yeah. cool. It's going to yeah, be a lot of fun. And uh, I don't know. So why don't we just go that way, yeah. uh, this way, right? Uh, we'll <clears> start there. Uh, five rounds, four album max in each tier. Um, no wild cards this time because it all works out kind of even. But if a uh, row gets wow, four so and yeah. it's full and you want to put something in there, you can then bump yes, something right. down. We'll, if there's any questions, we can explain as, as we go. Okay. All right, so we're going to spin first. There's the wheel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it here. Enjoy the chaos, the everyone. Kyles are going first. I wish it made a noise. Big money, big money. Oh, oh, oh that's like a noise. I got a little spinning, spinning noise. <laughs> my, and it lands my, on. My wish is your command. It All right. Innocence in Danger. NMB Innocence in Danger oh. is the first album. It's kind of. Okay. All right, it's an interesting one to start with. Let's go. Let me get out of it here. Okay. The Kyles are in agreement. Not the first time ever, mm -hmm. but you know, for the first pick, I hate to start this way. Yeah, yeah I do too. Uh oh. Um, uh oh. <laughs> but but for me, as much as I like this album, I like that they chose uh, to sort of switch it up in the way that it was done with two discs and having the epic disc, and I like the way at the Morse Fest that there was sort of the dark and the light, and I, like I dig all that. That being said, when we're talking twenty albums by Neil and Mike, and and we'll get into this later maybe, but. 22 years they produce 20 albums that are just fabulous. Yep. 
But for me, uh, this one, as much as I like it, it, it ends up in D tier. Wow. Ooh. That's a, a, a harsh Christ. way to start. Yep. Listen, a harsh way to start. Yeah, that's exactly it. How, when you've got all these albums, something's got to be first, mm. something's got to be last, and somewhere in between. So yeah. Still a great record. So many great songs yeah. on, on both discs. But <clears> I think the struggle is going to be that. I think for all of us, every one of these albums has at least a song, if not two or three, that we think are awesome. Absolutely. Right. right. The question <clears throat> is, which albums have more of the awesome right. songs? Yep. And, and also, Innocent yeah. Stager, albums that are newer might not get that luxury of being uh, with us familiar. For, for that one. Yeah. So, um, I, it's a tough call, but something's got to be there. I don't I don't think that's terrible. Yep. Yeah. I just think it's great that Kyle Fagla finally got the rank of Mike Portnoy <laughs> album. <laughs> <in> <laughs> <the> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mike, I, Mike, don't turn it off yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just call it like okay, it is. Okay, uh, audio visuals, uh, we're going to spin All right, here. let's do it. And I apologize, i got to keep turning around. I'm the AV team that. is responsible for everything that's happening in this room right now. So <laughs> exactly. This is great. Christian just found out he's editing this whole thing. Uh, I, I, oh. oh. Christian, right. de- Christian designed the video wall. All right, we got momentum. Festivities. We got momentum. 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 Where do you have that? I'm, get rid of I'm that. down there. Yeah. All right. Where we put the this balance one. in the middle someplace. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's All right. A, this is a this is this okay. is a tricky one for yeah. me because it has my absolute favorite uh, Neil song of uh, World Without End. Sweet, right? It's that's when I <laughs> yeah. That's right. So I've got it in one spot. Christian has it in another it, spot. It's actually not much of it's it's not a memorable album for me. Yeah. It's, it's it was a. The one song does it for me though. It was a great album when it came out because you mm-hmm. know. And anything Neil I enjoy, but through time, as mm-hmm. more albums come out and compared to every other mm-hmm. album, this is an album that I have to put in D tier. Okay, I have it. I have it in B. So can we settle on C for us then? I can settle on C. Okay, I could we're gonna have to settle C. for right. C. I think. I, I have to say, sacrilege, Philistines. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know nothing. Get ready for are you, for are more. Are you insane? This about. is the most. Underrated. It is an underrated album. album. It's really good. Without a doubt, World Without End yeah, alone so makes right. this at least an A tier. Yeah. Thank you. I, but you I don't know, know that I'd there's go a as maximum. Long as A-tier, but I could argue B. There's a maximum of four albums per tier. Yeah. So this is like for most bands, this is A tier mm-hmm. like level. Yeah. You know, absolutely. Maybe even S tier. Oh, it's a really great record. As strong as World Without End is compared to so many of the other epics, it, it just doesn't. It doesn't match up. Yeah. I think we're all being sort of tentative and yeah. not wanting to rank too high, which is interesting exactly. so far. Really? But yeah, yeah, really? yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I have it ranked as C tier. I and I love this album. This I a, agree. This with is C. a first album tour that I saw. I'm them struggling on. Same. with C. I saw this tour. Too, like, and so I have that. a very personal connection to it. I love Thoughts Part Part Five. I even like the slower songs, Weathering Sky, Freak. Mm-hmm. Those are great. Uh, World Without End is great. I even really like Momentum. So. Maybe mm-hmm. this is an A tier. I, I, I gotta say, but thoughts is awesome on this one. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Really yeah. great. The ending, the, the thoughts part five is really cool too. Excellent. Uh, I'll, I'll There's prefer. There's a lot of great songs that are one hit wonders out there. Imagine if World Without End was Neil's one hit wonder. Like that was the only thing he ever wrote. Our minds would be blown. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 What else could he do? I don't know that most one hit wonders are 33 exactly. minutes long, but <laughs> that's what his one hit would be. Dexy's Midnight Runners didn't write a 30 minutes. This song. guy did this one great 33 minute song <laughs> and then never did anything again. And then just vanished. Okay, uh, all right, you guys are up next, so this should be uh, this should be interesting. Team Dick. Thank you. Wow. D tier, C tier. We love Neil Morris. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's gonna get better. It's testimony. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, okay. It's the weekend it's of testimony. One. Okay, what is it? I, I have so a challenging are, thing wait, because so, so we are here for this album yeah. to be performed Tomorrow for the night. first 20th anniversary. Yeah, um, Neil's first album after he left Spock's Beard. It's a pretty significant record. Yeah. Okay, I have a challenging position here because I know my friend Nick, my teammate. He loves every album. He thinks every album should be an S tier. <laughs> so we gotta bring it down a notch, mate. Tell me. Your take on oh, it. Oh, I, I, this is an interesting one, I, I yeah. think, uh, coming. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm, g- I'm going to go for this, guys. Uh-oh. You're going to be proud. At the time, <laughs> it was the most emotional and best album, right? But then what came afterwards <laughs> made it pale almost into insignificance. Oh, wow. 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 So I'm going to have to say Don't do it. that Hot this take. is Don't do it. a B tip. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought you were going worse. <laughs> you were making that sound like it I was. I thought you were going worse. <laughs> no, all right, drag it through the mud. Yeah. Nick's no, warning no, no, is no, such no, dramatic. You know. To him to give the bad news. Yeah. No, I'm not giving any bad news. I think it's a B tier. It's fine right there, in my opinion. So I yeah, have it as B tier as well, but I, I want to oh, hear from someone who views it a little okay. higher. Yeah, so Kyle, Kyle Graves. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's so That's ridiculous because I'm in the minority and I know it. But this album was the Neil album that, that really kind of made me a believer for life. In fact, recently had it put on my arm, the little, the little Neil reaching for the sky there. But doesn't mean much because we have like 20 albums there. But, so, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's what you said. It's the emotional significance of it. And that has maintained for me. I understand for you guys. And because of so much other great material that's risen to the top, it's mm -hmm. maybe kind of come down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I absolutely had it as an A, but I knew I would never win that fight. Well, or as, as an I, S, rather. I was worried S. it was going to be our nice. third D in a row to kick this off. So, <laughs> so I was worried where you were going. I man. think a B is very yeah, solid. Yeah. yeah. That sounds so bad. <laughs> I know. Let's yeah. 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 like to yeah. set the scene, dude, and then not disappoint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Nick was like, I had a colonoscopy once, and this album. It was far worse than that. All right, B tier. The, the Floridians are uh, are Here spinning. Okay. Come oh, on, come on, come on. That's an interesting one. Okay, so. interesting. The Grand one as Experiment. Well. What do we have? The Grand. Remember, we, we need to Here say it go. for the audio oh, only yeah. people. Yeah, I just said it. This is oh, very yeah, nice. Grand Experiment. This is, this is the Grand Experiment by ah, NMB. This, this is a tough one um, because I was listening to this earlier. I think I mentioned this. And I got through the first three songs, The Call, Grand Experiment, Waterfall. And in my mind, I was like, this is A tier all the way because how great this is. So just just really quick, yeah. because you're mentioning all the songs. And this has a second disc of bonus material. We are not counting that in the you, evaluation. If it influences, no, if it influences your I count opinion, it. If you've fine. watched the behind the scenes on it, Portnoy's suggested track listing is different than what it is. It doesn't day, influence but. my ranking for me. Yeah. But... It, that's fine, um, but it does have agenda, which not my favorite song, maybe for f many of you, but also has alive again, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. So and the call. And the I'm call. feeling like maybe this is B. I would say B. Uh, if agenda was not on it, um, I think it would be. I, I would dare say an A tier. Uh, yeah. If uh, okay. if Jerusalem would be on the first disc, I'd definitely be an A in my opinion. I'm not sure if I may want to move it down or, or not, but I feel good about it for now. Yep. What, what were you thinking? It's B tier for mm. me. I, th I think it's a relatively underrated album. Yeah. And I think you do have to include the bonus disc because those were well, songs. Well, New Jerusalem's pretty great. Yeah, yeah those were songs that were recorded great, yeah. for that album, and they were just sequenced a little bit differently. Um, and in fairness, like the bonus disc also includes two great live uh, versions from, from like 2015 Morse Fest, yeah. or is it 2014? 14 Morse 14. Fest. 14. Yeah. 14. Yeah. It was yeah. 2014. Morse this Morse Fest. Nah, That's right. I don't know. Yeah, I like it. Okay, mm. round one. All right, we we made it through pretty good. Not bad. All, All right. right, let's 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 keep going here. As you see, we love tiles. it. We have so many S tiers and A tiers. No, no, no yeah. fighting yeah. yet. This is going actually yeah. pretty bottom, safe. Bottom heavy. Kyle. Pretty pretty safe. Safe. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, okay. right. adventure. This is a tricky one, All right. Okay, so how do you follow up uh, the similitude of a dream? Well, you make the sequel, and inevitably, what's the sequel like to one of the best albums of all time? Yeah. It's not quite as good. You know, Star Wars, the sequel was better. Uh, Very rare. Indiana Very rare. Jones, the sequel is a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> and so it goes one way or the other. <laughs> the Great Adventure is not a lot worse, but it's not as good. It doesn't connect as well for me. The story is not, uh, it doesn't stand out quite as much. Um, it's a darker album. It's a heavier album, and I like that. Uh, but for me, you know, watching both tours and knowing both albums really well, uh, Smell of Two Stands is a really great album. Great Adventure is a, is a good album. Uh, so for me, I'm probably putting the Great Adventure somewhere in the C tier. Ooh. Wow! Yeah. I just yeah. want to say, wow. I would just like to say, 
sacrilege, <laughs> Philistines. <laughs> Philistine, yeah. <there laughs> because music Wait. is not sport. Kyle, it's not one album should other be compared Kyle, to another. Other Kyle, are you uh, hey, agree yeah. in agreement? Other Kyle. I'm going to finish gonna, the episode then. Yeah. This okay. is pointless. Let me just, <laughs> let me just give it some, uh, some context. And you gave it good context because you're exactly right. One of the greatest albums ever in similitude. How do you top that? You don't top that. Can you equal it? You get pretty close. I had it as definitely with tipping my hat, uh, tipping my hand to similitude being an S, uh, I would say an A. Mm -hmm. If you're at C, can we land at B? Um, I mean, this is all super arbitrary. So we, we can some, some, <laughs> some, and somebody's going to move it anyway. We can so do yeah, it. Yeah, but for want. now, put I, it at B. I think, I think B is solid. Yeah. It's a great okay. album. It is a we great album. It not be as great do as we all agree that is out of all we all agree yeah. that out, out of the albums that we've discussed and done so far, do we agree this is the top one of this crew that we've discussed so far? No. So far? Uh, Absolutely I'm, not. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. No. Okay. No, I, yeah, I would, I, I, I I would I, just like to I, say I, that the I, fact... That's a question that I have. The, the, no, the, 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 the fact right. that this album no, came this one, yeah, after I Similitude. Agree with I agree yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with it. That it is the Wait, best one so I, far? Yeah, I do too, yeah. Did, did anyone more, notice yeah. that the uh, Floridians were holding two mics at the same time? That's very Florida of you. <laughs> so um, no, for me, this is not. I, I, I would rate Testimony and Grand Experiment over it, personally. Okay. But I mean, you know, I'm the C-tier guy, so. L right, listen, back. guys, the, the, the fact that this came after Similitude makes it a special album. You shouldn't compare. It, the fact that it even held its own after similitude is a remarkable fact. But it's a great but album. Everything we're doing here is comparing. Yeah. <laughs> but, all right, so Nick, so that Nick. Is the nature of the beast. Yeah. Not, so not these two. We shouldn't so compare these two because this was a follow-up. We landed at a B. Where would you take it? I'd have given it an A personally, but okay. yeah, I can well, live with fair it. Enough, fair enough. Well, let's it's talk when the thing is over and Nick's gonna no, no, this deserves an, uh, an A, but the A is full. Okay, S then. S is also <laughs> full. And then I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Go, 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 go for it. I know Love Never Dies is a special song for you. Indeed. And that song Absolutely. probably kicks it on its own up to A. So, you know, just hats off. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate you acknowledging it. Okay. Um, <laughs> next. Yeah. You guys, let's, let's do it. Guys, Roll let's it. Let's go. AB crew. Bring it on. Nice. Come here. Oh, totally. Okay, here we go. Okay, spin the wheel. Let's go. Come on. Now. We got. Oh. Can't see it. <laughs> oh, okay. So aggressive. Okay. Easy, easy rating so for yeah. that one. Yeah. Should we just say it? Let's just like, so yeah, yeah, rip the band-aid off. Yeah. All right, so it's, 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 it's going to be our... we're all comparing here, I mean, <laughs> it, it's an easy <laughs> D, D for me. Yeah. It's an easy D. Christian is just yeah. D? Okay. It's, it's all around. Just hand them out. I think that's fair. Yeah. Again, yeah. D's left and right. I mean, going it's back to the comparison of how do you follow up one of the greatest albums of all time with you know, with another one. Yeah, another solo. Know, not, not good, you know, uh, or, or rather good, but not as great. Okay. Um, There's at least one more. Solo Gradia, I could confidently yeah. say it's, it's this is like nowhere Indiana near Jones. Sola. No, no, it, 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 Mike. The mic, the mic. it'll be, if we're going to the Indiana Jones comparison, it'll, it's like, um, what was the fourth Number Indiana four, Jones? Crystal Skull? Yeah, Solo Gradia is Indiana Jones oh, and the uh, Crystal on, Skull. And, no, and, it's and still really good. Yeah, it's it's good, just, yeah. it's just, <laughs> Missing a little bit from those previous ones that were so epic, but I it follows the same formula. There's a lot of great songs on it. It it, um, it definitely did like new new things with. I'm um, thinking about seemingly sincere. That's like a sound that we've fun. never heard from Neil, but that's like one very high point in an album. Personally, for me, that is just underwhelming. Um, seemingly, seemingly sincere is definitely the high point. Uh, for me, I think one thing it struggles from is, is that it was written mostly in isolation by Neil, and I think it would have benefited a little bit from more collaboration. Um, and it, it is a fine album, but for me, again, like, does the story come through? Like, you think of, like, Testimony. Like, there are some criticisms I have of Testimony, whatever. I didn't delve into those. But the story comes through. Like, it paints a picture. With Sola Gratia, like, it doesn't paint as much of a picture. And I know the story of Paul. It's, like, an inspiring story. Like, I was excited when he was doing that. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that was disappointing to me about this album is, is it did not feel <coughs> connected to Sola Scriptura at all. And I kind of hoped that it would. 
Um, I think there's a few moments there, in there's there. A few, there's, there's a few, a few, few moments, musical moments, but but does it stand out to me as like as yeah. connected as it I almost expect. felt like tacked on. Like, hey guys, by the way, this is a sequel to Sola. Yeah, you know, it, John, do you, you, this is our turn. Do you want to say anything? About no, it, it's I, I agree with where it's at. It's yeah. uh, it's it's a good, it's a great, not well, great. It's, it's a good album. I love it, but I'm, it's just a. Uh, you have to put something down there. And I'm then, still kind of shocked. Innocence and Danger is indeed looking at it. It no, really I, is blowing my mind. Me. I honestly Look, think we have 20 <laughs> albums. They're all great. No, yeah. I, I, yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it. I think Solo Gretzier is easily right there where it is. Yeah. That's the last spot. Easily. The rest is looking okay to me agree. so far. Um, okay, you guys are still okay. helped me get through COVID, so I'm, I'm grateful yeah. for this album. Team and you went to that. You went? You went to it. I was at lockdown, so I experienced that album in oh. real time. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the one we disagree <laughs> Nick. All right. Man, that's great. Nick the, loves this album. The that's second great. most. Lifeline. Wow. Lifeline. 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 The second most underrated album in Neil's oh. catalog, without a doubt. I, For a the, the title track. <laughs> <laughs> For a reason, yeah. The title track alone makes the album a masterpiece. I really yeah. think that this is a very underrated album. And I mean, we could go through it track by track. There's not a, there's not a bad moment on it. There's not a, a bad song on it. Really? Let me let me check the Danny's track list. Mm. So so yeah, so, I, so I'm gu- I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that Lifeline for me would have been an A, but I know Danny's gonna give it a C, so we'll probably end up in a B, right? Uh, no, not really. I was gonna <laughs> give it a D. <laughs> <laughs> I can compromise with a C because I would take input from the other guys. I know they're not on my team. This not is on our this team, is your, but your, most your most decision. assuredly a D tier album. This is Neil's worst solo album. I mean, no, solo, we have solo, solo yeah. is yeah. yeah. I, just in my opinion, it's it's. I mean, if you even look at like Morse Fests, it's it never got a Morse Fest, and I think there's a reason. It has good songs. I like Leviathan as a is a classic mm-hmm. song. Li- Lifeline, it, Lifeline is, is a good song. World without end. So many roads. So many roads. So many roads is good. So many roads, yeah. Dude, so many roads. I like uh, what the way back home. That's what it's called. The way home. The way home. We did that song, yeah, did huh? That song. Yeah, um, it's a good, it's a good album, but nothing stands out as being like exceptional. I think "So Many Roses" is an amazing song. Yeah, sure, "Leviathan" and mm-hmm. "Side of Track," they are great songs. Nothing else really stands out, in my opinion. I think they are all good songs, but it's like, it's a really like made album, you know, for like neo, you know, levels of of music. I think it's an okay. So I think I would put it in D. Uh, Nick would put it in, in A and I'm thinking we should just put it in B because B is going to be full oh, and then no. you guys just move it later <laughs> put it where you want and I will yeah. move it later yeah I, exactly so can we do B I'll do B in your honor but it's I'm going to stab you in the I'll back later this, I'll do this under protest okay so I have to I have to agree with Nick uh, this this album um, you know you talk about personal connections with the album this album came out at a time when there were a couple things in life that were just not quite right here we go and it was, <laughs> Sorry, we can cut this out. <laughs> and just the opening melody. I'm going to put that SpongeBob thing where it goes 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it, please. And um, just when you get that melody that begins the album, and then all of a sudden that quick piano riff kicks in, and then the band just powers behind it. Um, that song is great. Seize of Gold is amazing. And yes, they didn't get... Wrong album. album. I'm sorry. Uh, so, many so Many Roads. roads. <laughs> we all keep forgetting that. And, and, hey, and Seeds of Gold so is amazing. So memorable. And, yeah. and it's on yeah. test. Even though too. it did not get its own Morse Fest, all the songs have been played. Yeah. Well, not all, not all I, the songs. I would just like yes, to say, this is, one of, God's this is children one of Mike's fal- of children finest of God moments. God. This album. It's one of his best performances ever. I've never understood the bad press that well, it's not a it's not a concept well, album. Right, but still, I just I think there's a lot more to it when I hear about you know kind of the negative. He wouldn't sell tickets. Some of these songs. I think you All could right, have done a Morse Fest of Lifeline and Momentum. Can it I just say fine, it's not about negative. Like it, it's been true of all these that we've right. done. It's about Relative. it's shades of Relative. gray. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. And to me, like the the two albums on either side of this album are definitively better. So that's why it's ranked where it is. For me, it's it, a D. For you, it may be a B or C or whatever. I think. Yeah, I think maybe most of us here might put it in D, 
we'll put it in B for now. And oh, we'll it's see where headed it for D. Let me say, <laughs> let me say one last thing. I'll say one last thing here. Um, I think this album marks the end of an era for Neil. If you if you see his discography, this is the last album before he started his Bench. sequel album with Testimony Two, and immediately after that was the Transatlantic reunion, and then the NMB. Yeah. This album, personally, it's ranked as a D. It sounds sort of samey compared to his past albums. Um, the epic. You know, like solo in question mark. Yeah, uh, the, the epic is just um, great. Again, if it was on its own, it, it would be an amazing song, but compared to past closers and past epics, um, I, I feel comfortable ranking it. So yeah. like same as you mean team. it just sounds as genius as the prior yeah. album sounded? Yeah. Right, yes, no that's why. Yeah. A, an album by its own wi without that past discography, yeah, sure, A tier. But I personally don't care for the shirtless Neil on the cover, so... <laughs> That's why it's a Neil taking a bath. I, okay. I, I saw uh, Neil play this with the European band. Let's move on to the to next sing. one. Uh, we're up, right? Yeah. Okay. True that. So Nick, cover is Nick just likes yeah. Colin on the drums. That's all it is. No. Uh, Colin on the drums is, is, is I, I, think, I think Colin did a great job Here's emulating. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay. First Flying Colors. Okay. First Flying Colors. I'm nervous about this, one. <laughs> I'm nervous about this as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I, yeah. Um, oh, boy. This uh, is a tricky one. Uh, uh, we, in fairness, we have oddly landed almost all, all Neil. on Neil. All Neil. Uh, so that's why for, well, like couple, like we're beating yeah, up no, these No, N&B, you know. um, So, <sighs> Flying Colors, I love this band. I love all three albums. Um, I, In many ways, I even like Flying Colors overall, maybe better than Transatlantic. I may be in the minority there. I really Same. love this band. Um, that said... After they came out with Second Nature and Third Degree, my appreciation for the first one dipped a lot because I think two and three are infinitely better. Mm -hmm. Hard disagree. Yeah, I agree. 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 So I agree with you. Disagree. Um, I'm, I'm a hard C on this. No, one. absolutely not. <laughs> but but oh, that's awesome. So in looking at everything that is in up there, that's where you're. Yeah. That's where you'd say. Yeah. So, oh well, my gosh, can I, I sit by someone else? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the the songs on it are terrific. My my only negative on this album as an audiophile is the fact yeah, that yeah. the original recording was just a little bit too uh, not dynamic enough. It was a little bit too compressed. Um, they uh, was it Neil that released True Colors, which was a less compressed. Uh, that's actually the version that I enjoy listening to the most, but that's that's not what we have here. This is the original one. Again, the songs are great, and then looking up there, oh my goodness. I mean, I really like Blue Ocean, Kayla, Infinite The Storm, Storms. and Infinite Fire, and Everything oh, Changes. Oh, yeah. Those five, for sure. Oh, the whole album The rest, is, is I excellent. think, are okay. They're good pop songs. Yeah. Popper song the I other albums rock. to me are it way still better. makes a good I, album. I, would I just feel higher. like in it's the context of when this album came out, it was such a, a, a for me, a breath of fresh, yeah, fresh air. Especially for Mike's trajectory in his career. That's correct. And I think every song in the album is great. I think <laughs> the highest highs of this album, I think this is actually the best of the three Flying Colors albums. Yeah. Say what you want about the production and Peter Collins. That and doesn't so bother on. me so much. Um, I don't. The co production is okay for me. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, like I said, if this to if call it a C tier is I'm that's only, a lot. Only because the other two I think are going to be in B and A for me. That's how I'm seeing it. I had, it, so I had it in B, but then I remembered that Cosmic Symphony. Are you with me on this? Or was or on Second Nature, and I had to put Cosmic Symphony above this one. Just or do you want to move Leviathan, Leviathan down? Leviathan. <laughs> <laughs> the whole song. Le Leviathan. I mean, life I, mean I think. Life I think. Life okay. Come down. If if I am come to on. compare, uh, Flying Colors against uh, Lifeline. If it by clear. Flying <laughs> Colors wins. Yeah, there and you go. if I was going to compare it so to the... <laughs> now, now All if, right. do so the we'll, right thing, Vic. We'll by the way, that, if, if I was really going to compare it to the other three, but I know I'm going to get okay. my head chopped off by saying this, I actually grade Lifeline higher than uh, Testimony, but I know that that goes against <laughs> the, the norm there. But I, I, would that, rather, I would rather have Flying Colors in B 
Yeah. As All opposed right. to it's in C. C. That That's admission was a testimony against yourself. <laughs> and by the way, how, how will you sit in the audience tomorrow and listen to testimony with that sort of a testimony? <laughs> how, how excited was everybody when you found out that Steve Morris and Dave LaRue and oh, Mike boy. and the Neil band. were doing a... a, congl- uh, a and Casey an, a McPherson. Group? And Casey, yeah. yeah when the, we didn't know him at the time, I, did we? I didn't know I Casey. I was a big but Alpha Rev fan. I was super I, excited. I didn't know who Casey was, and I'm a, I'm a big fan now, and absolutely yeah, would put fan. him in, this, in the band if I could. Uh, but it, before th- this band was ever announced, if you would have given me a choice of four musicians, I would have made Flying Colors. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, so, but Kern- John was disappointed. Kern- and I was thrilled. Like it, it. I, I, I was oh. super excited about well, that. Why do you have a D tier then? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, as far as the other things that they you, did. You, you yeah. have a poker player that looks like your opponent's card when they're trying to see. Yeah. Well, well, he I showed me. He showed me. It was gonna go. Yeah. He's like, oh, I got. Okay. So, Seven, what's lawsuit. amazing is we have a, a lot of albums and we still have all of S and all of A. This has yep. never happened. Yeah. So let's let's move on yeah. back to exactly. you guys. We're okay. The best, yeah, yeah, the next one's surely an S tier. There we go. Surely. <laughs> it won't be. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? The case. Oh, there it is. Oh, Are you sure? Oh, bingo. No, nah, mate. Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> it is the whirlwind. <laughs> It's not even a question. It's not even right. a question. B, B, right? B tier? The tier? highest, <laughs> I think, most beloved transatlantic, <laughs> correct? Yeah. Yeah. For most people. For most people. Certainly, it's, it's you know, again, to, to the guys that got there last week, um, it is, it's brilliance upon brilliance upon brilliance. It's, of course, how many songs? Twelve. Twelve. One. One. <laughs> That's the correct answer. That's one. the correct answer. It's one song. It's we know this. Songs. The band It's always, it's always the argument. Yes. yes. Um, but it's it's just brilliant. So it's we're, just we're going journey. in S. Yes, it's S. There's, is there anything else to say? No. Just awesome. No. It's, it's in S, S and right. it's going to stay it's in gonna S. Stay in S. Yeah. Yeah. If it's there was a triple S, I put it up. Yeah. Done. That was easy enough. Yeah. All right. Seventy-seven yeah. plus yeah. minutes. We're good. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, well we, we knew that here. one was going to be an S, so that's good. He's no surprise here. AV Squad. If you like Neil Morris, you might want to check this album out. The World. If you haven't heard the whirlwind, <laughs> oh, which one is it? Question. It is question mark. Uh, question Jeff mark. Jeff has a request. Jeff wants that in S tier. So, can we compromise on a D tier? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have it there. This is an easy, unanimous S for both of us. Absolutely. Oh come on. It, Are you serious? It's uh, mm-hmm. one of Neil's most concise uh, <laughs> concept albums. It, from start to finish, it's just mind blowing. This is a weird one for. This is either for a lot of people. This is either S or like C D. This uh, oh, really? this, this yeah. is another one that could be considered. I, think, I, think it's it's a, I would not have this near S at all. Absolutely. It's an easy S. I don't, I don't think about it. Cool. I need a new Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it will. It will be bumped. It will be bumped. I don't think so. I don't think it should be. Bumped. I, I won't let it be bumped. Wait, for whom is this an S tier album? Raise your hands. Right here. Well, everything for you, Nick, is an S tier. Is it? Is it an S tier for you? I'm okay with it, but S? We got four S's. I would be okay with A. I'd probably personally maybe put it in a B, but B's full, so I would probably be okay with A. But I have it. This album is an hour, near an hour. Of As are brilliance. most albums. <laughs> you're brilli- of pure brilliance. That's the argument. It's an hour long. Great this argument. album is music. <laughs> the transition from the transition there are guitars from guitars and bass. Microphone, microphone. <laughs> the transition from entrance to uh, in his pre- inside his presence to the final closing of Temple of the Living God. It's it's bliss. It's. No, it, I think tr- talking about transitions, I think this has like the best transitions by Neo. Like That's tied with whirlwind. This is one of these. The, the this is one of those yeah. albums that it could probably be considered one song. I th- I think I read somewhere that that, that it was one it. song. It's a spiritual Lover's journey. Even if you're not mm-hmm. a spiritual person, it's a spiritual. Uh, why is why did you rank it as an S? Me? Yeah. It's just the everything about it. I mean, I can't really put it into words as much. It's just the beautiful. Um, it flows together nicely. There's not a, a down spot on that at all. It's just is wonderful. I just feel like it takes up other spots. I, okay. That's for all me. It is. Okay, so for for time. so for me, because this has been used before, when you're sandwiched between one and sola, it, this is that's a tough spot a, to be in. This is a notch below. This is a notch below those two. Thank you, Vic. Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. Well okay, said. Wait, listen. Bump it if you have when, to. When someone tries to put one in a spot lower than question mark, I'm going to kill someone. <laughs> Okay. This is just a joke. Don't call nine one one just yet. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's. I knew this was gonna happen. Let's keep going. Okay, um, you need to say something. You're done, right? I'm spinning. Spin I'm spinning. Spin the wheel. Yeah. Spin the wheel. Uh, we're getting solo scriptura. I'm feeling it. Temperature for it. Please don't get solo scriptura. Oh, you're right. Oh, it almost very close. Oh, oh testimony yeah. two. Oh, okay. T two so, yeah. Saturday so night. Can I say a few two. words, Danny? No, you can say like one hundred words. I I won't stop you. Okay, so I, this is also S tier, I, I, I guess. See, I see both discs as part of the release, yeah. so yeah, I'm including yeah. Seeds of Gold. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And I think it's just pure brilliance okay. from beginning to end. Then it's include, it's very possibly my favorite Neil album. Really? So I've got to give it an S. So we're just what? putting everything in S now. From now on, <laughs> that's what we're doing. We're going. Okay. 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 We'll okay, see okay, how so long this lasts. No, hang on, hang on, Roy. Don't please don't yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that's Two is a brilliant album. I think it has a top two Neo song, which is Seeds of Gold, or top three or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a great, like the whole album is okay. awesome, but I don't see it as, a, it as an S tier. No, no way. I think no. there's a lot of above it. I think it's a clear talk a. Him, talk him to an A. Talk yeah. him to an A. Can, can we do it A? It's going to be bumped down. I think we don't have anything in A yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm a huge apolog apologist for Testimony too, and it's a B tier for me. Yeah, it's a no, great see, album. It's a great you, album, but, it is but it's not as of testimony. Guys, I just want you to consider there's still one Soul Scriptura, Bridge Across Forever, Simpty, Similitude. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's so one, much. One, there's one, so okay. much. You, you go bump it down. We're going to be bumping all night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm Disclaimer. Just <laughs> Disclaimer. Be, be careful, I say. Wrecking effects here. We're going to yeah. be bumping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love Testimony too. In some ways, sonically, it's like one of the best sounding Neil albums. It's got like really strong horn parts that are like somewhat unique to that specific album. Mm -hmm. It sounds great. The drums sound great. Like it's an awesome album. I think it's a, the most criminally un underrated Neil album. I think because it's a sequel to Testimony, but it, it's a every track is awesome. The bonus disc or disc two, if you want to call it, is fantastic. But it's not S tier. Come on, Nick. Yeah, come on, Nick. Yeah, let's let's do A. Can we do A? I just want to say it is not a sacrilege, <laughs> Philistine. <laughs> Something tells me you're gonna be hearing that a lot more. I know. I love being called a fool. All right, yeah. guys. Final vote. A. You're okay with A? Let's Dude, do it. don't do this to me. <laughs> we're, we're going A. Yes. We're going A. <laughs> All right. Good man, Dan. Good man, Dan. I think A is solid. A is yeah, solid. A is it's where headed. All right. Nick is very tired. Come on, guys. please okay, give Nick me a good started. album. He doesn't please. know what he's talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Quick. All right. Let's see. Quick. Yeah. Yep, exactly. All right. We can at least put an album correctly <sighs> in the right spot. Hooray. Uh, All right. We're just gonna easy do it. Easy D tier. I do this joke okay. every podcast. I'll stop doing it. S tier for this one. I'm not hearing any arguments. No. No. The, the only two no. obvious ones of tonight are <laughs> S tier for Whirlwind and similar to. I will say one thing. It took me a few listens to get there, but, I, but eventually I got it. Well, I, I would challenge so anybody nice watching this video. Yeah. Is it anything yeah. other yeah. than an S video for anybody out there? Yeah. Let's hear it in the comments because I can't imagine. Okay, we're it's good. Let's just move on. Yeah, that one was easy. And we had the Sloth song. Yeah, so I was we got to say it's my favorite song, Sloth. I was saying my top three Neo songs are Stranger Near Soul, Seeds of Gold, and Sloth. Oh, no. What do we got? Sola Scriptura. Are you going to rank my favorite album <laughs> terribly? Yep. We're good. Yeah. All right. I, I think this one, when this I think is of straight S tier. Neil solo albums, I think, you know, heavy album. I love that it's four tracks. It was a great Morse Fest. For me, it's an A tier album. It's not on the level of S tier. It might be for some. Okay. It can't be anything. Thank you lower at least for right. keeping it in A. For me, it's an S, but I'm happy that at it least you it didn't put it in D. It cannot possibly be anything lower than A. Thank you. All right, it's, I, it's I'll got live a great with that. Story. I love the Martin Luther thing. And for those of us that love the heavy side, this is the heavy side. Of it me. is. Yeah. yeah. Love, when I'm when I'm in a Neil mood, <coughs> and I'm in a heavy mood. This is always. So this is my S tier Neil Morris album, but. Okay. I will accept it as an S tier. It would be an S tier if not for the fact that you grafted in transatlantic and flying colors and all that other stuff. Yeah. It's it's hard to balance now. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. 
the Paul Gilbert solo is the highlight of that. Yeah. And it is absolutely stunning album. I would put it at S, but... The I'm Conflict a- is just the most ingenious song mm-hmm. ever. It's just amazing. So, all right. Okay, let's go. Right, it's the go. secret of the English language. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. I'm just confused. All right, English what have we got? All right, so... The solo on the door. Kaleidoscope? The door is a highlight is. of Neil's yeah, catalog. Let's see. All right, I think, I, know, I think we know where this one's going. Well, what, where, where's their room? Where's their room? There's room on D. There's room on D or C. Everywhere except B. B, okay. There's room in S. Or you can put it in B if you want. Or you can put it in B and bump something. No. Well, I will, I will say for me, um, the first and last songs, uh, Into the Blue and Kaleidoscope, are just marvelous. Very, very amazing songs. Um, I, I love, um, you know, any any long epic that they do it just seems to be just phenomenal so for that i I would rank it higher however the other songs on there as good as they are they're not as proggy for me so i have it down in c christian has it in b B. but there's no room in b unless we do the bump and i could easily bump something off of there but i'll leave that up to you okay let's put it in c okay wow okay what, what would you guys do? I like I, it. I in thought C. it was going think, in D right away. No, no. no. no I, I, I think Kaleidoscope gets beat up on I it. Agree, I, I agree. I agree. I think it's a great album. Is, uh, and, and whatever you want to say, like whether it's proggy or popular, like Shine is a great song. Yeah, Very good like song. Shine. I like the significance of Shine. Mm-hmm. And the Black as the Sky is amazing. Black as the Sky yeah. is great. It's a fun album. I think people just forget to listen to it because you go back and you listen to just one song, uh, you'll see it's Into a really good album. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I can't listen to Into the Blue without picturing us pulling away. Yes. I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah. That was very raise significant. Your, raise your hand if you were at Progressive Nation yeah. because yeah. this Every album is special because of that. I just picture the, the doc <laughs> going by after that. Yeah. A highlight, a highlight moment that. of yeah, my life that. for sure. Yeah. Nice. Uh, no, I'm surprised. I, I'm fine with it in C. I thought the collective stand, might have been in D for this. I won't but, yeah. stand for that being in D, just for purely emotional nostalgia mm-hmm. reasons. That's so. interesting. Absolutely. I will, I will break my own room. <laughs> <laughs> burn this room. Um, what, where are we on? He's now? just joking. It's, it's the you guys. Team yeah. Oh goodness. Team, <laughs> team S tier. Well, we have a lot of transatlantic albums. Like There's that. like all S and A tier albums yeah. here. Let's see what's left. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. No, that's easy. Oh, no easy. If this it. is not S tier. Yeah. No, just say it. Bridge across forever. S tier. Easy S tier. S. Okay. There's nothing but S's here, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. It is it is a masterpiece. So the top... All right, so S tier we have two transatlantic albums, Similitude and Question Mark from the Neil Solo stuff. Um, okay. Hey. Okay, say something about it, the songs. Well, what do you think? Um, okay. Stranger in Your Soul. Best song ever. Best song ever. Devil, what's the duel of the devil? devil. Second, Second best, best song, song ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> Will. And what more do you need? Will of Prague. <laughs> Will of, of Prague, yes. Um, uh, Bridge Across Forever is in there and Sweet Charlotte Pike, is that it? Yeah. Four songs? Yeah, Sweet Charlotte Pike. It's is an amazing killer. album. Beatles, um, Beatles influence the song. Beatles I passed influence. the yeah. Charlotte Pike exit on the way oh, yeah. in the See, White House. We are here where all of these albums were made. How crazy is that? Right? Yeah, so. This is an easy S tier. In my opinion, every Transatlantic album is an S tier. Yeah. Does anyone does yeah. anyone not have it as an S tier album? Not have it as I want to hear f- I want to hear from those very quickly. Okay. Um Go I know what you're going to say. You, you don't need to say it. No pressure. Yeah, right. I'm not the hugest transatlantic. No. Guy. Yeah, that's what you're Get him and out yeah. of this room right now. But when you've got, when you've but got you the have the whirlwind. Oh, you guys know this. Nick, you know this. You're just super tired. Nick's been up for like three I'm, days. I'm right just now. refusing to acknowledge <coughs> you. Yeah, not the hugest transatlantic overall. But again, if Whirlwind was the only thing they ever did, they'd be the greatest band that ever was. Mm-hmm. And I actually would rank Kaleidoscope higher because I really, really like that record. Bridge Cross Forever, I know best song ever, second best song ever. I like them. I enjoy them. I don't think they're the best songs ever. Okay. Sacrilege. Sacrilege. The, is Christian? it because it feels like separate tracks and it's like not like connected All my enough? albums are on S tier that, that I picked are already on S tier except for one. So I don't know how one. Which do- one? 
I'm, bu I'm bumping something from S. I didn't mean it that way, okay. but it's are actually we, yeah. correct. Are we up? <laughs> are we up now? We're up. All right. I can't wait Please to give bump me something, something that I can bump. You guys are uh, getting third degree. Well, so I'm bumping something. If you put third degree anywhere close to S. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be curious too. <laughs> Die. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did. Third degree. No. Ah, Simti. I wanted a this different. A one I wanted saying. a different one, but okay. Because it has one amazing song, um, and the rest of it is kind of. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my, words are like, like my new world. Amazing, all of the above. All of the above is like one of the best songs ever. And my new world. And my new world is a great song. But and it's not like and uh, we all need some light. Need some oh yeah, I guess we all need some light. We all need some light. Now it does have a cover, "In Held Twas I," which mm -hmm. is terrible. In yeah. Um, was in on. Wait. Whatever. Did you go to more Smith's last year? No. No. You should have seen that. Yeah, that was cool. Live. Yeah. Dude, that was incredible. No. That is not a great song. Let's not try to act like it is. <laughs> it's, well, it's a cover. They didn't write it. So that's, I understand you know, that. Yeah. It's Pro Call Hera. Right. But it's not a great song. Yeah. Not so our Transatlantic's worst song the is a song that's not by them. Yeah, Correct. The fact that they performed it was cool. Not a great song. Okay. Continue. Mystery Train is still kind of still a, a fun song. Not a great song, but a fun song. It's the um, It's a great. I mean, it's them coming together. It's that first album. It's really special. Um, hmm. Trying to see. Hmm. I mean, I feel like it's A. I feel like it's A. I thought you were going B. That seems generous. B is full. Oh, I have it in A tier. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a good album. Boy, I don't know. This is tough. This right, is when the I'm game actually, begins. Hmm. We got to play the game. Right, yeah. Time to play the game. All right, so we've we've come to a decision. Yes. Um, we are gonna something. put it in B and bump something. Okay. Bump something. Up. Let's see who gets bumped in this room. Are you bumping Great Adventure up? Ooh. Line oh, colors has been bumped to C. <laughs> and Simpty right, is in B. I'm, com I'm coming for. Blood. Are you on board? I'm on board with you guys. Blood. Okay. I think that's the right move. I think that's correct. I, I think that's insane I'm because I'm fine on that. Nick's yeah. fine with that, but he's not fine with not recording Infinite Fire. He's one step closer <laughs> to demolishing his room. Yes. I'm one step closer to the edge. <laughs> and I'm about to break. <laughs> I'm about to break. <laughs> All right, bring it. All right. Spin that wheel. Let's see. <laughs> You're gonna regret that decision. <laughs> this is your final round. <laughs> this final yeah. choice. Yeah. Oh, no well, then you gotta give yes. me something I can work with here. Oh boy, I know. Oh boy. Okay, you can work with this. Okay. What is this? Third degree. Third degree by Fine Colors. That doesn't help me. No. Yeah. Third degree. Third degree is an excellent, fantastic, awesome album. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then I'm gonna do this just <laughs> just to piss Roy off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay with this? Uh, Are you double bumping? Third. Double bump. No. Yeah, I, I would have it I'm not bumping anything because I'm doing this for Roy. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Roy. You can't put it in D. He's doing it. For me, Third Degree is a D tier album. Oh, uh, yuck. Yeah. Wow. That's insane. I don't think that's, it is insane. That's absolutely insane. I, I, I got to hear this. This is the moment of the podcast that the fighting starts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Things are getting physical. <laughs> what, would you, what would you prefer to do? I have it in D. I, I did not connect with this album to the degree that you did. There. Man, wow. it's a, it's a at least a B for me. But I can't I can't no, do I anything that like <coughs> fixes. There's what's albums been done in C that could wrong. be bumped down that are worse. I than this disagree. One. I'm taking your mug back. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll just be honest. Y you guys all like really connected with this album, and mm -hmm. I I that did. Ah, oh, thank you. I did not. I did not. I don't understand. There's no Last like. Train home. There's no epic song that released. Like Last there's home. two. Last train songs. home and crawl. Yeah, How yeah, epic are we talking? Yeah. I prefer like crawl too. How long minutes? are those? Thirteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. Thirteen minutes. Thirteen minutes, dude. Feels, you are not alone. Feels yeah. like an eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Love letters is amazing. Yeah. Guardian. Uh, uh, I think this, this might be a good album. This album's amazing. When I rank it's the not albums, a D, man. And I consider everything else. Wow. For, for me, it's a D. I'm just gonna do it. Just move Lifeline down. Do uh, it. Do that. Consult with your partner. All right. I That's will, the correct move. I will say this. Consult with your okay. partner. In fairness, Lifeline is more of a D tier album for me what? than I know, Nick. I know, than Nick. Third Degree. I agree. I have Third Degree as a D tier album, so it's hard for me. But I'll do this because I think it's. I don't know. Or is it momentum? No, Momentum's better. I think Momentum's a better album overall. 
Yeah. I think do third it. degree is better than lifeline for me. Yeah, but I agree. I agree. I, do it. I don't agree, but I'll, I'll do that. Uh, yeah, just for the sake of You know what? I'm just going to put third degree in D tier just because <laughs> it's, it's fun for me. It's fun for me. I don't know. Uh, fun. <laughs> Come on. No, no you, you got to mean it. You got to mean it. Uh, you got to compromise. Come on, Kyle. Be brave, man. I like Lifeline more. I do too, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll keep, yeah, yeah third degree in wow. D tier. <laughs> <laughs> third the, D the flying degree. Colors, the flying color slander in this room is hard. Oh, no, yeah. I love flying colors. Yeah, the fact. No, you don't. Wow. There's still one out. The third is my least favorite. I just can't. The fact I that went you into this the first album down. I went into this. I went into this knowing for sure two things. That. Kaleidoscope and Lifeline were going to be a D. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what wrong. to do with this. <laughs> well, you better hope I don't I get feel second like nature. The fact that we had to go first, we at the end yeah, we should yeah. get to, should be a bonus to, round. to move some stuff. Yeah, no. Okay, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, each one of us should get All right. Right. All right. You just did, by the it's way. Painful. I know. Oh, this so. Come on. Give me no what pressure, I want. No Give me pressure. what I want. All right. You, just, you know what I want. What is that? You know oh no. Oh, you know what I want. Oh, oh, that that messes it up. Put this ass here. Make, you know, make my wishes down. come true. One. Yeah, you got it. How is, is this room not an S tier? Oh, this has to be S tier. Yeah. But you, but they're you gonna move the wrong album. I, I definitely <laughs> am. Okay, well, where, where would you move that? Move what question move? mark yeah. down. It's first, obvious. First, I, I want to hear your your vote. I have I have it in A, so I would I would definitely have it there, but. I can definitely see an argument for I, I, moving I it to S and then bumping down. Question mark. Uh, question mark. Roy doesn't yeah. like one, which is weird. No, I love what? one. Oh, you do? Good. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's, it's a Saturday. legendary, incredible album. Okay. <laughs> question mark. No disagreement for me. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand how it's not an S tier record. Right. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. It is let's, an easy Let's do that. Do you is that right? It, do you if the album was time? creation oh, and then reunion and it was over, it would be an S tier album for me. Okay. Well, for Separated. me, this album is an S tier. Easy S tier. Yeah. It's been an S tier since I heard it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy um, S tier. Now, the, the the difficult part is what do I bump down? Right. Question mark. Look, question mark. Solve that for you. The correct move is question mark. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay. Great. I was the one that put question mark up there, so I'm fine moving it. Question mark is still Well, yeah. I have, a, I have to honor my tier list, and right now the board reflects exactly what I have if I just move one album down. Oh, oh you're going to move. Do it. And the oh, album that to me. I am choosing we're to move. We're getting the last pick, so we're fixing it. If, it's, if it's probably going to anger a lot of people in the comment stranger, section. It's going to anger a lot of people it's in okay. the room. I'm going to fix okay. it. I'm bumping down Bridge Across yeah. Forever. Okay. That's yeah. absolutely that's crazy. Right I'm, not, that's right I'm not saying that Bridge Across Forever is not an incredible album. I'm not saying The Stranger in Your Soul is not Neil's best song. What I am saying is that one... Danny, Danny's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Danny. Well, not even Nick. Not even Nick Daniel's headed to Pope. <laughs> dude, he, dude he, he did a mic drop on me. That's just, the only reason I'm still sitting here. I, he sat... You I I knew I moment. knew that this tier would be bonkers, yeah. and I'm just I just don't understand yeah. what's happened. But you can't no, way no, no. There's no way bridge. Is no, innocence and danger and third degree in D, yeah. like the, yeah. the bridge in and Sola in A. The whole thing is wild to me. It's when amazing. Have, okay. So for who for whom is one an S tier? For one. I just want to know. No, I have so what are we doing? Literally everybody. I I I so I what I are we doing? Yeah. No, but they have it in S. They just took uh, down okay. the wrong album. Okay. okay so bridge. So who is okay. bridge an S tier? I'm curious what your S tier is, so I understand. Right now, it. right now the question board is not. Well, right now the board is my S tier. Okay. Like, yeah. is S -tier All right. Well, I think I'm ready. You're, we're good. Or a great adventure. This is fascinating. Yeah. Okay. There's oh wow. There's two albums left. The creation. Well, and, we've got uh, Absolute Universe. I, oh, God, please give, okay. please give them Absolute uh, oh, Universe. Cool. Nah, we're getting uh, Roy cheated it. Well, I know where there Nick is go. putting this one. <laughs> okay, so, so just oh, no. for clarity's sake, is it the double, is it the triple, or is it the no, single it version? It's your, your favorite version. version. Your it's favorite any version you want. Yeah, it's together. Okay, can I be bold? Yes, totally. I'm putting it in D. Whoa. I knew that was coming. Because, because I... I just think it's the their wow. um, least impressive effort, uh -huh. least consistent effort. <laughs> and <laughs> three albums, how is it that impressive? And and it's 
you know, it's anybody else's best album, but it's not their best at all. This has nothing to do with the video that was put together by <laughs> Christian and, and Daniel. You, so think, you, think it, you think that this album is not as good as Lifeline? Absolutely not. I think this oh, album yeah. is better yeah. than Lifeline. No I, no, I would yeah. agree with you. I just... I think you're a little biased. I am biased. But what, what are you doing, uh, Roy? What? I never said D tier. We're a team. Uh, oh, <laughs> here we oh, go. Okay. Well, I never said D tier. Correct him where he's wrong. Well, what do you want to do? Um, I, w- me, Daniel, Daniel Levy, I would put it in B. Daniel B. Daniel yeah. edited the oh, visualizer. Yeah. So yeah. like, a so little bias, a little bit of a bias. Yeah, but I think we can compromise okay. a C and, and then you can make something. You can make a, co- a solid correction of C. I think no, not solid co- correction. I don't know what we're d- what I'm doing. Uh, I would put it in C, and I would put like flying colors up and great adventure up. That's me. But no, no, you gotta. Don't, start, don't, don't you think you're putting it in C? You gotta move one down. You can't. No, I can't redo. Put it right, I can put it uh, like flying colors to B, and then B has five, and then what? You're no, 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 no. You, you can't move. You can only do. You're you can only do that's one. That's making move. two moves. You, you right. if you move this. To I C, agree with you. That right. makes sense, right? I, I mean, I wish you could, but right. I don't think it works that way. Okay, so Isn't that two like, moves? That feels like two, two moves. So then I'll bump Lifeline down, and Nick won't ah! let me. <laughs> yeah, you know? Nick won't let me, so I don't know what we're doing. What, well, agree on a different Stick one with me, bud. Stick okay. with me. Give me give me one. Put it in D. No, never. I'll never do it. I'm loyal to uh, myself. What about Kaleidoscope in D, if you like absolutely No, Kaleidoscope is good. Yeah, Kaleidoscope is yeah. good. But Kaleidoscope is bump better than the other three albums. Bump Kaleidoscope. Dude. Is Kaleidoscope than better than Don't Is Kaleidoscope better than Absolute though. Universe? Which one is better of those two? Um, that's your answer. TAV. TAV. Kaleidoscope. So that's your answer. So bump kaleidoscope. Yeah. There you go. You cannot I'm put happy, Kaleidoscope in D. Ah, dude, no. that's crazy. No. no. That's crazy. Bump Kaleidoscope, dude. It's the Think right it thing to do. Is it's there not the right the thing to do? <laughs> All right. I, I approve that. If you could have one album to listen to, Kaleidoscope or Lifeline, what would you listen to? What would Lifeline, you prefer? Without a doubt. No, kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope without a doubt. All right, raise yeah. your hands if it's Kaleidoscope. Is that really With it? Those you two? would vote Kaleidoscope or Lifeline, right? Lifeline's, Lifeline's better than Kaleidoscope. Oh, my, oh my way, man. Lifeline's way better than Kaleidoscope. Oh <laughs> like a million I times really better. I really like Kaleidoscope. Okay, I don't know what to do, honestly. That's crazy. Um, no, 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 no. You know what to do. You just don't want to Okay, do let's do... Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, dude. Bump it. I love the rock paper scissors. I want to. I want to see Lifeline in D. That's me. And you want to see Kaleidoscope? I agree. You cut me, Shrek. You cut me deep. Yeah. Okay. Rock paper scissors. Shrek. Rock paper scissors for which one goes to D? Yes. Here. All right. Kaleidoscope for Lifeline. Third, third degree is lonely down there in D. <laughs> I win. Uh, <laughs> yes! Oh no. This is the most fair way. This can only happen in in-person podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> you can never do that. Yeah. I'm still online. mad that. I still can't believe third degree is in D. I, I can't that's, believe that. Well, here's why it's there, because I put it there. Yeah. <laughs> I just, it's terrible. Terrible spite. by you. Sorry, dude. All right. Sorry. Well. Down and hurt. Yeah. What's it going to be? Thank you for spinning it. Obligatory yeah. spin. Yeah. The final um, spin. My favorite Flying Colors album. Agreed. Yeah. So. Uh, Honestly, I think, for I think me. the tier that it may belong in is open. Yeah. I don't see a way. I don't see a way to move bridge up to A. Sadly, I mean to S. It is sad. Yeah. And uh, so what I are you guys doing? I think <laughs> I think we're stuck. There's no there's no shame in A tier. No no no, but it's not it's not yeah. that A tier. We want to move one from. S. Oh, I understand. No, we want to move a uh, bridge up to S. But we there's no we, way. We maybe should have allowed for multi tier switching. You can't, you can't bump up. So, yeah. but there, uh, a there you have it. This is this that's is uh, the <laughs> tier. Do, do we want to rank them within their tier? Someone Let's try suggested that, that well, on YouTube. Well, that's going to be impossible. I, I think. don't know. That's impossible. We're not going right. to agree. What, what, we what can do it. S. S is easy. What what is their mm. what is the best album on this? Is it Whirlwind or is it Similitude? Whirlwind. 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 Similitude. Oh, one question mark. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I yep. I agree with I that. I agree with that. And then what about the next tier? What? How would we do that? Bridge. Sola. Second Nature. No, uh, I, th- I yeah. think Testimony 2 is over. Yeah, no, yeah. Me, too. Uh, me too. Me too, me too. Yeah. Sorry. That's third. That's third. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah. Seeds of Gold. Done. One Go, pers- next. One person is talking. Yeah. <laughs> Not one person. <laughs> two people are talking. No, <laughs> it's the people. There's the, a collective the energy. Yeah, there's a, yeah, yeah. There's a circle. We're feeling the room. Feeling the room. Yeah. yeah. Feeling the room. So, so wait a second. So you're telling me. Yeah, so we were telling you that. Yeah, that's correct. All right. I think for me, B tier, the Great Adventure should 
Great Adventure. Go Steve towards there. the end. Wait. No. <laughs> great Adventure. Simpty. No. I think Simpty. Is last. Really? Yeah. So mm. to me, it would be. PGA I'd put Testimony Tesla last. I would no, say Great Adventure. Wrong direction yeah, now. Uh, no. I would say. Yeah, that, that to me. Yeah. That's pretty much. I would swap. Photo. I would swap uh, Testimony and Simpty. That, that would be my choice. All right, Flying Colors, the debut album has been done so dirty tonight. Yeah, yeah first one there. That put should, it over there. Put it over further. It's such a good album. Yeah, put it in the first and then it's going I don't want to hear it. Yeah, you put, a yeah you, you, you put a better album in D. No, I put their worst Come on, album guys, in D. the production alone yeah. puts it behind momentum. I mean, no. Yeah, and then put third, Maybe. Uh, third degree first and then it's correct again. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't dislike Third Degree. It's just, to me, it's their yeah. least... Amazing to your list. Jeez. Nobody could do it better. Wait, so their worst album... No, I think the worst album is Sola, Gratia. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. True. No that, offense that, to that, it. That's, but a, that's a I think it's Oh, so there. Lifeline is, is second, second to last, last. <laughs> right? Yes, oh, easily. Right? Yeah. I, mean, I just want to say, number 19. Sacrilege Philistines. <laughs> I mean, on my list? Yeah, well, that's, this, this that's how it is. Idea. I don't know. Yeah, it obviously didn't work out the way I had hoped, but... Uh, this is a I solid don't know what ranking. the way it's a, it's a mostly solid ranking. I'm sure it's entertaining mm-hmm. to watch. I don't know on what world Bridge is not an S tier album, but uh, what are you gonna it's do? It's right there. It's in the fifth position. What are you gonna do? Can we just end with a commentary, sort of an ecumenical commentary on how good these albums are? Yes. If you explain what ecumenical means. <laughs> so ecumenical means that we're. Despite our differing faiths and opinions on these albums, we all agree that Neil is amazing. Right. Okay, yeah, it's amazing mm-hmm. that you found a word that expresses exactly that. Yes, yeah. this is. Uh, an I would just like to movement. say you've all been peregrinating within the periphery <laughs> of terminological and pusillanimous inexactitude. <laughs> and says the lawyer, we're going to have a great <laughs> weekend at Morse Fest because we love Neil Morse more than just about everyone. Else. Yeah. yeah that uh, that said, listen, this was pr- this this was pretty amazing. <laughs> Uh, I don't um, know how he does it. Nick is a poet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, it's this was challenging, like we thought yeah. it would be, and and mm-hmm. it really depends on where the thing lands. That's the joy of this, or yeah. the horror of this. But it's fun, Definitely. and um, yeah, we're good. Everybody's nah, fun. All right. good. Enjoy it all yeah. In, in twenty two years, Mike and Neil together produced twenty albums that we all love. Yep. Mm-hmm. And look at that D tier and tell me that that D tier doesn't have every single album that you listen. I've to. listened to that D tier so many that times. That D tier yeah. is everyone yeah. else's A tier. Right. Put put that D tier up. No offense. D-tier. Put that D tier up against Rush's D tier, against Dream Theater's D tier, who we just ranked. Yeah. That's a pretty, yeah. Pretty yeah. I mean, those are some of my favorite albums in D tier. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, uh, I think this is a case of forgive them for their no. One one thing. man's D tier is another man's S <laughs> tier. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's good stuff <laughs> alright okay, well so thank you everyone. guys uh, well, thanks for watching again subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel podcast pick uh, progreport.com all that stuff and uh, we'll see you again soon and if you're here at Morse Fest hope you enjoyed it hey thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel follow us wherever you get your podcasts check us out on all our socials and on progreport.com for all your news interviews reviews and more and we'll see you again real soon